Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Designs by Jackie. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a um, cloud uh, a cloud shape into a bottle cap image to make it look really nice and fancy. Um, I've got a lot of requests for this, so I hope you like it. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to open your Photoshop. And I already have mine open. As you can see, I already have displays on what I'm doing. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is you want to go to File, New, Blank File. And your preset, you want to go ahead and select Photo. And I'm going to do it on a 4x6 because I'm just doing this as a tutorial tutorial to show you guys what <clears throat> how to do it. But if you want to get a lot of photos because you're doing it for bunch of hair bows or you're doing it for bottle cap uh, necklaces or earrings or something like that you want to go ahead and do it on an 8 by 10 so you want to go ahead and click OK but I'm going to hit cancel the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to the layers tab and you want to click create a new layer next you want to head over to the left hand side and click the marquee tool for most of you starting out the marquee tool is going to be a rectangular marquee but go ahead and click on it and it'll bring you up to this uh, toolbar right here and on the side of the rectangle marquee you'll see the elliptical marquee you want to go ahead and click on it you want to make sure that your aspect is set at fixed sized and the feather is 0 px next you want to make sure uh, you want to set your width and height depending on what you're making you know set your set your width and height to the what it's gonna fit in I'm doing a bottle cap and it's at one and a half uh, no it's a one inch bottle cap so I'm gonna go ahead and do a 1.5 1.05 uh, size to get the outside of the lining in the bottle cap so I'm gonna go ahead and click in the center and I'm gonna go ahead and move it next I'm gonna go to my color picker and I'm going to go ahead and pick a white color. Click OK. I'm going to go ahead and paint brush it in. And it's white, so you're not going to go <laughs> you're not going to see it. Next, I'm going to go to edit and stroke outline. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a pink. And I'm going to put it at 20 px in the inside. So, I'm put OK and there you have it. Next you want to go back to the tabs and go to uh, create a new layer. Excuse me. Next you'll see at the top uh, layers, effects, graphics, and favorites. I'm going to go to graphics. Oh, you're going to go to graphics. And you click on it. And you're going to have to scroll down but I'm already there. And you're going to want to grab the cloud 2 box if you want it white. If you want it black then go ahead and click the cloud 1. I want mine in um, white. So I'm going to go ahead and left click and drag it over. Now to me, I think it's too big. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it and hit yes. Or if you don't, if you want to leave it that size, you just click on it and just hit yes to simplify. So you can be able to move it around if it's not centered and stuff. So go ahead and bring it down a little bit I'm go ahead and undo move. so I'm going to go back to layers I'm going to click on the shape and I'm going to go ahead and move the shape for some reason this whole thing is moving ok so I'm going to go down next I'm going to go to new layer and I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, text tool over here on the left hand side, the horizontal type tool. And I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to type in a name. And click OK. Let me see if I can move this shape. OK, I can't move the shape, but I can move the circle. So I'm going to click on the shape, and it looks too big. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Pull it in. Okay. Okay. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and put my name in there. I'm going to try to... Oh, I'm trying to center. Okay. So you're going to want to center it. You can always just go ahead and move that up. Hide the shape won't move. Okay, go ahead. Well, now it's connected together. <laughs> I just wanted the shape to move. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move my name. So I can grab. Okay, that doesn't want to move. So sometimes it's gonna, you're going to have trouble moving that stuff. But it's okay. Because at the end, you'll still win. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can center it by doing this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click again the marquee. I'm going to go ahead and space. The return once. So, unless I do this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And click. And I know it's not centered, but... Huh. I got it centered now. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And um, next thing you want to do is you want to go to shape, name, layer tool. Then again, merge linked, and then you just move it. And again, duplicate layer. If you want to add any design to it, you can go ahead and do it. I've shown you in previous videos on how to add a design to a birthday uh, invitation to a bottle cap image it's the same thing I just wanted to show a tutorial on how to do a cloud in the bottle cap image so I hope you guys enjoy if you have any other tutorials um, you would like to hear about give me a uh, message me and let me know or comment below please don't forget to subscribe like and uh, visit my Facebook page and like it um, so yes thank you for watching and see you next time